Hi everyone, today I'm with Reed Walker who played Harry Warner on Shortland Street. We are going to be ranking some of the most iconic Shortland Street characters that have ever been on the show. Alright, sweet. So I will, um, there's five tiers. There's the legendary, that's the highest tier. Below that's pretty iconic. Next tier, good, average, fugly, slash, shut up. Fifth tier is trash, kill them off. Let's start off, Yvonne Jeffries. That's that's pretty iconic. That's yeah. got to be up there. That's got to be one or two. Yes, I was uh, going to say legendary. Always a centerpiece of scenes and a centerpiece of the hospital itself. I met her once and she did hate me, but that just made me love her more. Okay, Kylie Brown. She did have a lot of quite big storylines, especially in the last couple of years. Mm. I hear she started murdering people. My feeling is bit of a wet blanket. Sometimes I even yeah, when she was going around killing people, I was like, okay, go girl, give us nothing. I just found her, but not that exciting. So I reckon let's put her average, cause she was on a long time. Phoenix Warner. I think Harry was definitely the more interesting child. You know, at least Harry was, he was causing some drama, you know. Phoenix was just like, oh, I'm, I love art, I love art school. Like, get, get a personality. I think we should put him in the fugly slash shut up category. That's tier four. Sophie Mackay. She was a bit of a brat, like, she would always be like, Dad, Hunter's having a party, Hunter's killing someone. I was kind of like, yeah. alright girl. Bit of a knack, yeah. yeah. I'd say, I'd say high tier three, low tier two though. I, re I recall she had some pretty good storylines. Mm. Um, I think mm. tier three, good slash average. Tilly Potts. Papa, whoever you- Tilly Potts, that's, that's gotta be legendary. Although yes. with the recast now, I don't know. I think you're totally right. I think what we'll do is OG Tilly, that's going mm. legendary. That's going S tier. New Tilly, that's going to trash, kill them off. All right, that's fair enough. Kane Jenkins. Uh, oh yeah. I was thinking about you all night. I was thinking about prison. Kane was a really moody teen. And you know what? I feel like you should have gone on to play Archie in Riverdale. You look just like him. I think wow. that KJ Apahu, just kidding, Riverdale fans, don't hurt me. Nicole Miller. Nicole is a bit annoying to me. She's always complaining she's poor. She's like, I can't afford a babysitter. Honey, you're HOD of Shoreland Street Hospital. What the hell are you spending your money on, girl? Fugly shut up to me. Gerald Tippett, on the other hand. Absolutely lovely. I thought he had a great character. I, I think he would, uh, he has to be very up there. Yeah. Um, the heart and soul of Shorty, some might say. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'd probably put him all the way up. I'd put him up with OG Tilly. Right, I'm so into that. He told Libby that I'd be meeting your gay partner tonight. She's convinced that you're gay. What am I going to tell her now? That I'm not gay? Tanya Jeffries? Um, I think all the Jeffries family, they were a very mainstay family for a long time. Yeah. So I think that alone puts it at least sort of third tier. Um, if I remembered more storylines, that could maybe push it up, mm. but Fred, I don't. See, I'm agreeing with you because the Jeffries are very beloved to me, mm. but she was always like, oh, Maya, you got impregnated by my boyfriend. And then it was like, oh, mom, you stole my boyfriend. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Just be <laughs> happy for your family for once in your life. <laughs> Okay, Boyd Rolleston. Boyd is a little bit pathetic, I reckon. Every episode, oh, I'm sad Eve was a body snatcher. Harper left me for Drew. Zara thinks I'm ugly. Shut up, Boyd. They need to make him gay, otherwise kill him off. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to agree with that. Fugly shut up, I reckon. Sarah Potts. Very boring to me. Always whining. TK, TK Hun, oh Hun, oh TK Hun. Best part was when she ran Tilly over. Should have run herself over. That's trash. Kill her off. Well, they already did, but TK Samuels. Oh, it's got to be all the way up. Mm -hmm. Right at the top. It's got to be tier one. Okay. All the way, I think. Hi guys, I'm just coming in while editing to say that I did not agree with Harry 
on this one. I don't think TK is legendary, but I was too scared to say something. So I just quietly moved TK down to the very bottom. I'm sure you will all agree with me. TK is a very annoying character. Uh, cheers. Uh, Hunter Mackay. I think that yeah. Hunter, I thought he was a bit of a hottie, but I think that his character had very small dick energy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So I think maybe we should actually put him tier two, pretty iconic. Yeah, I think that's fair. Rachel McKenna. I mean, I, I have to say iconic. Yeah. Uh, Ange Bloomfield directed my very first scene ever. I think she has to go all the way up into the first tier. Yeah. A, a cornerstone of everything that is short and true. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's absolutely fair. It's Mr. Clicky, the stapler. Hello, Trudy. I'm Mr. Clicky. Oh. I have photos of your daddy. Ooh. Luke Derville. I, I thought he was a very interesting character. I thought um, Gerald, who played him, he said one time that um, the reason that he made uh, so many of the mannerisms for Luke was so that if he forgot his line, he could sort of do Luke's stuttering thing. I mean, mm. uh, well, uh, oh my God. I love but, that. Um, I think as a character, interesting, quite unique. Um, I would put him second tier, yeah, I'd say. That is exactly what I was thinking. Next one will be an easy one. Jackie the Barmaid. It's got to be, again, all the way up, straight yeah, to the top. Absolutely. How do you get a blonde to laugh on a Saturday? Oh. Tell him a joke on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we've done an amazing job. Awesome. Um, uh, thank you so much. It's been a joy to chat to you, Reid.